The Joy of Cooking is considered the most popular cookbook in America since it first came out in 1931. The ninth edition has just been released, and it is a big book with 600 new recipes added. Co-author Megan Scott is here to show us just one of them. But let's just talk for a second about, I mean, this is, everybody has this cookbook, I think. Yes, My mom I hope certainly so. <laughs> did, and, and I do. This one is updated. What did you do to come up with the new recipes? Well, um, wow, that's a big question because there are 600 new ones, yeah, as you know. Um, so we went through the entire book line by line and just created a huge outline of everything we felt um, that needed to be fact-checked or changed or added. Any American classics that we felt weren't in the book that should be added, we made note of, and then we went into the recipe development process. Let me just give your attention over here to the books as they have. <laughs> yes, those <laughs> are all of the editions. And improved. And this one's <laughs> the biggest and the best yet. Yes. <laughs> um, so you're going cook one of the things that's one of your favorites? I am. It's one of my favorites. It's also part of how John and I met. Um, these are cheddar scallion biscuits. Tell us about John. Um, yeah, so John, my husband, is Irma Rombauer's great-grandson mm -hmm. um, and the fourth generation of his family to continue the Joy of Cooking legacy. You guys have just changed life in America with, <laughs> with these books over, over time. Were you already a, a good cook when he met you? Yes, I was. I, I loved cooking. I was actually working in a bakery when we met. Oh. Um, and this, I was making a version of these biscuits. I have improved this recipe over many years, but um, I was making these at the time. Um, and so all I'm doing really is um, kind of cutting the butter in. I There's like to do Irma, this. By the way, oh, living. nice. So we're seeing some more pictures. Oh, yeah. While, That's while such a great this. photo but of her. But come back to us if you can so that we can see how you're cutting yeah, the butter so in. Yeah, so I'm just really smashing it between my fingers and kind <laughs> of feels flattening. Good, it does. It? it feels great. It's like popping bubble wrap. Yes, it's Yes, I love it. Um, yeah, so you're just flattening the pieces so they're kind of in sheets mm -hmm. and that will create really flaky layers when okay. you um, bake the biscuits. Now, people always say don't overwork the dough. Right, correct. But tell me a little bit about how you know when you're done doing this. Um, you basically, when all the butter chunks are kind of in flattened pieces, and they don't have to Ribbony. be in tiny pieces or anything, they can be still in fairly large pieces, but you just don't want any massive chunks because they'll just melt and kind of be greasy. Yeah. Um, so I think this is pretty good. You can kind of see how mm -hmm. they're all flattened. Um, and then I'm just going to add the cheddar, grated cheddar mm. and scallions and stir those in. So we've got this great savory coming together. Mm -hmm. And there's also some black pepper in here. Oh, there's a big butter chunk that I need to get rid of. <laughs> See, that's part of it. You can catch it when you exactly. stir. Exactly. And then I'm going <laughs> to add the uh, buttermilk. And I normally don't add all of it quite at once because sometimes, depending on the ambient humidity and whatnot, you might need a little bit less or a little all bit right. more. But it looks like we're going to probably need all of that today. And you like buttermilk better than anything else. I do. These are, yeah, these are buttermilk biscuits. You can mm -hmm. definitely make biscuits with milk, but my preference is buttermilk is buttermilk for sure. Um, and once the dough comes together, kind of the fun part of the recipe is um, rolling it out. Mm -hmm. And this uses a... Have you refrigerated this for a this, while? This um, so has actually not been refrigerated. No. You go okay. straight from mixing to this oh, good. step. So we don't have to wait. Exactly. Love More biscuits it. faster. <laughs> so then you just kind of fold the dough into thirds mm -hmm. um, and that is a technique borrowed from pastry making and it kind of um, allows for more butter layers in the biscuits so they're nice and flaky. Idea. So you do that a couple times. So you don't times. just smash it down and roll it out. You're going to do this. Exactly. Alrighty. And then once you've done that, um, it's ready to cut out now. But before we do that, I'm going to put some cheese right on the baking sheet where the biscuits are going to go. And what that does is it creates these really nice, crispy um, cheese feet on the biscuits. Let me show you those. Yeah, they're so fantastic. You can see the biscuit. And then the crispy cheese bottom. The best which part. Which is pretty genius. <laughs> so that's how we do it. What kind of cheese are you using? Just cheddar. You can use whatever kind of uh, cheddar like? you like, but yeah. I love a really sharp cheddar. Um, and I also I don't think so with the with yeah. the scallions. That, yeah. that's good. And I like to cut these out into um, kind of squares or rectangles, just because um, you don't have any scraps and you don't have to re-roll the dough. That's so you just kind idea. of have these nice kind of square or rectangular right. biscuits. And they're so pretty when they're cooked up. That's really nice. Yeah. How long do they have to bake? Um, I think uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're done. And then you're done. So you can have biscuits really fast, which is the way you should have really yes, exactly. biscuits really, really <laughs> fast. Um, if, if we want to return to the photos, we certainly can because it does capture oh, yeah, the generations so of people who've been involved. Tell me about these. So Irma is on the right, Marion, her daughter, is on the left, and Ethan, who is um, Marion's son, is in the middle. So that's a great photo that of them. That is a cool photo. And that's uh, Marion Rombauer Becker and her husband, John Becker. Mm -hmm. um, and they worked on the book together. How fun.
And that's John's, my husband's dad, Ethan. There he is. That I'm not sure if there's another one. That's it. Yeah, okay. That's... So I want to talk about some of the other things that you brought today to sort of oh, yes. show us a little bit about the diversity of the things that are in the book. Uh, the salad looks beautiful. Yeah, that's a, a shaved fennel, citrus, and beet salad with a horseradish uh, vinaigrette. It's a mm. really great dish for Thanksgiving oh, because yeah, it's nice good. and bright and tart with the citrus in there. Um, and then we also have a chocolate chunk pecan pie with uh, whipped cream. <laughs> I just have to stop and look at this. That is so beautiful. Um, I make a, a pie like this, but I'm sure not as good as this. Tell me about the, the secret to this pie. Well, the secret is that it has chocolate and toasted pecans <laughs> in it. Um, but we also sometimes like to add bourbon um, and browned butter to yes, the filling, because um, it has melted butter in it. So if you just go a step further and brown the butter and then add it, it adds a whole nother uh, kind of depth layer of flavor. That's a really good tip. And so your whipped cream, what do you add to it? Um, well, I, w I would also add bourbon to the whipped cream. That's We're my favorite thing. We're going to be such good friends. <laughs> <laughs> just such good friends. So when when you buy this book and perhaps you give it to somebody who's just starting out, there are also tips on just cooking in general, correct? Exactly. So you can learn to cook in this book. Yes, a lot of folks get this as their first cookbook. It's a great book to learn from. We cover every technique, uh, most common ingredients we talk about in a great length. Um, so it's really a perfect book for the beginning cook. Okay, I know what I'm getting my son for <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Thank you so much. Both Megan and John will be at the University Temple United Methodist Church for a University Bookstore event tonight at 7. And please head over to New Day's website for the recipe for her cheddar, cheddar, no, cheddar scallion biscuits. <laughs> I'm so excited about the pie. I can't talk. After the break, ideas and suggestions for instilling gratitude in kids and adults this Thanksgiving season after this.